We have the equivalent of 149 nuclear power plants worth of wind within 50 nautical miles of our shores. Uh, so what we're looking to do is design and build very large floating wind turbines that can be placed 20 to 50 miles offshore that nobody could see from land because of the curvature of the earth that harness the best winds uh, in, off the coast of Maine and bring that back home so we can reduce our, our reliance on fossil fuels and also sell some of it. Size farm that we're looking to build, we could potentially power the whole state of Maine and then some surrounding states with offshore wind. The only issue that we're having is our deep waters, so we have to pursue a floating wind turbine technology that will allow us to capture that energy pretty much anywhere. We have a very deliberate plan of R&D leading into job creation, leading into progressive increase of the use of offshore wind in the state. Building an infrastructure like that, we can create up to 15,000 permanent jobs in our state. So it's a major opportunity to create jobs. So Maine will get, get a chance to be the first in the U.S. to do this kind of thing. And, and, and who's doing all that work? It's our students in the lab. They're designing this turbine, they're building the components, they're going to be out there helping deploy it and test it and verify it. So it's a, really, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. But over time, as we develop this and commercialize it, which is the big goal in the end, um, we're going to need uh, people, we're going to need laborers, we're going to need um, managers, we're going to need investors, you know, it's just lots of different jobs that can be created in the state, um, and good paying jobs too. So.